Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. Today, I'm gonna show you how to practice every day, 15 minutes to maybe half an hour. Even you can pick less items, so you can do even 10 minutes. So we have seven items here. One is a simple chromatic scale. Second one, it's a little bit sophisticated chromatic scale, eighth notes. And third one, much more difficult, two notes chromatic scale is hard. I will show you everything. And then fourth one, what's fourth one? Yes, triad, only top three strings, because this way, uh, avoiding memorization, so you understand three notes really well. Then you do um, all direction, vertical, horizontal, and same one. And then caged form, little bit caged, uh, major scale. I show you four, four forms, really great. And then um, root 37. So a lot of material, but um, you can do it. And then, good part is, you only pick two, three items every day. But but I show you seven, okay? Here you go. So I can get a little closer, okay? You got... All right, so first one, what you do is like a chromatic scale. Only fourth and third string. Why? Because this way, you have good thumb position, you know, left hand. Because if you move, really hard to do so I will do when I teach first time I teach only fourth and third string I do the same way even now so chromatic scale from say like you know from third third fret so the first finger second finger third finger fourth finger easy right but most people do like this okay that's about a habit Okay, this is about heavy. A lot of notes ringing. So first, right hand palm muting bottom string, sixth and the fifth. Okay, and you play first, first finger a little bit sticking out than other fingers because your first finger touching fifth string, right above the string that you're picking, and then like this, keep all your fingers down. That's why. You have to play slow. No scratch noise. So this is tempo. Simple. So it takes a little time. Like that. Okay? So don't rush. And be flexible. If you're busy, you only do fifth position to maybe maybe ninth fret, maybe like that. Okay, so simple, right? So from here, going down. So you keep your all your fingers down first, and then I pick around the sound hole here. Sustain this note and change your finger. So very beginning. Tempo is not important at all about the fingerings. See, sustain longer. See, I'm not really counting tempo, just sustain. Relax. Sustain last note and go to the next one. You got the idea? After you learn the material, you can go a little faster. Maybe like that. But well, here's the key. That's too easy. So what, what you do is this. Play normal. Then gradually you play pick softer. The softer than any sound in the room. Just relax. Like that. Okay, good job. That's number one. So number two, here, copy that. Don't worry about sight reading, just look at numbers. One, two, one, two, three, two, three, two. Wait a minute, one, two, one, two, three, two, one. One, one, two, one, two. All right, three, two, one, two, I think. 
3432 1 2 3 4 right okay going down 4343 2343 2123 432 it's written all right you got that okay so now you learn that patterns and then you go eighth note so first right don't don't move learn this pattern Good. So you learn that and like slowly. Same way. Means no noise. If you hear noise, you're out. I mean, you have to slow down. And you go softer. See? You're learning. We are learning. And no noise, softer and softer. Like that, okay? Softer and softer. Much softer. So basically, softer than my voice, okay? That's the important part, all right? Then keep your fingers, um, you know, stay close to the fretboard. Okay, so once again, your right hand palm right here touching fifth and sixth string lightly and then your first finger tip touching fifth string so the muting double muting and then inside of your fourth finger and first finger muting higher strings that's why that's why <laughs> See, anything I do, it's clean because this chromatic scale. In other words, most people play licks, play songs, and they don't have techniques. So that what happen. More songs they can play, but struggle with a technique. That's why I teach techniques. Okay, great. So you go there, you know, then going down. Maybe a little slower. No sliding. Okay, you got that? That's it, that's number two. This is really amazing, I think, because I'm making video and I can practice. What a deal. So now you see the bottom crazy chromatic. I teach at the Berkeley and accelerate your guitar playing. My students know this, right? So now, again, copy that, capture that. You just use your cell phone, capture. Here you go. So now ne next one, a little tricky because now hybrid picking, you use pick, and you use, you know, first, I'm sorry, not the first finger, second finger. So you go like this. So this one, you really have to do slowly, maybe like a fifth string. So this is really extra. If you want to do it, you can do it. But you know, beginner, probably you shouldn't do it because first and second one's really important. I give you an idea that, you know, so, so when you go up, it's really interesting. Like almost a power chord, like that, and a minor third, you know. So top notes go three, four, one, two, but bottom notes go one, two, three, four. That's why I call it crazy chromatic. 
So this one, you have to really do slowly. Then when you go down, two, one, four, three. But then top, bottom notes, four, three, two, one. So don't, don't try that first, but just, you know, idea. Practice that. All right, so number four, triad only top three strings. So now triads, you have to go to triad lesson here, only three strings. So first you have to really understand um, triad stand root major third fifth. You know, do mi so, C, E, G. And then mi so do, major third fifth and root. So you have to study slowly, okay? And then so do mi, and here too. This is great, you really understand tuning. So first, right, you do, once again, this part, you wanna go back to learn triads, okay? So now you go, so do mi, do mi so, mi so do, so do mi. But then you change to F, mi so do, so do mi, do mi so, mi so do. Like that, okay? B flat, do mi so, mi so do, so do mi, do mi so, kinda hard. And E flat. Then you can go down. F. B flat. <laughs> kind of hard to do, you know. Electric guitar is a little easy, but. So you can do even like, you know, three note. Ah. Like that. Like that okay so that's number four number five is a triad vertical horizontal and same so you again you have to watch this <laughs> this this video that you know I made that um, three ways so first you have to go so do mi mi so do do mi so you have to play once you know then really important your thumb position each one going down so you have to really work on that. Do mi so. See, thumb, you shouldn't go like this. You know, just a little. So this is more like I use this for my students to learn thumb position, you see? Oh, sorry. And mi so do. Do mi so. So do mi. And that. <laughs> okay. You know, really important. And then this part actually, I supposed to do a, show you a paper, but then I forgot. So it looks like this. You can copy that, capture that. All right. All right, you got that? All right. So now um, you go. Keep going. You don't stop. Slowly though. And horizontal. No noise. So you have to learn that, you know, okay? I'm just doing kind of quick. So this is not learning. This is just after learning when practicing. Do mi so. So basically, I spend more time from fifth string, sixth string, because this is really great deal not to make any noise, you know? And tough to play. Like, so do mi, do mi so. And then continue, you go root, 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 first inversion. So this way, you know the inversion, you know? It's great, great, because when you play licks, you understand where you have to play. Now, just in case, right, you go F. Like you have to do tests, you know. We have this test on um, guitar wisdom. <laughs> kind 
하트를 아꼬스기다. 그래서 이 하트를 루트, 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 루트. First inversion, first inversion, first inversion, first inversion, second inversion, second inversion, second inversion, second inversion. Everything you have to make a funny sound so that you don't get an anxiety attack. <laughs> All right. So next one, caged form. Then we did this lesson too, caged, right? So now this is a guitar fingering form, modern method of guitar, Berkeley method of guitar. Okay. And there is a five form, but fifth one, that's not important. So I just pick four. Okay. You, did you capture that? Good job. Yeah. So now, so so what's happening is I, I draw that to the D like that. So like C form and A form, like open A. Then here is more like G form. And here is E form. And here is, you know, D form continue, you know. Yeah. So that's, again, you want to watch my uh, cage of form. My opinion about my cage tone, not my cage tone. Anyway, so here. So this is not about memorization, just understand the major scale, basic one. This is what we call in position, stay in position, you see? No noise. The next one, at A form. Practice like that. Then now G form. Stretch. This one too. Stretch. See now, when you perform, you don't play like that. But when you learn, sometimes you want to learn very specific way so that you learn something, not just feel comfortable. Feel comfortable, not enough to me. You know what I mean? You want to learn this instrument better than anybody. So why you follow, feel comfortable, you know? Then when you learn basics, really important, do drop your opinion. Because once you have an opinion, always you wonder why I have to do this. That's not a good idea. Just learn. After you learn, drop it if you don't like it, you know? You know what I mean? You have to taste it. Almost like a, you don't like a cucumber. I don't like a cucumber. If I order salad, if cucumber comes with it, I have to return, you know. So now, E. So, okay, so you practice those four forms, then you change the key. So if you change the key, if you go, okay, I'm gonna B. F So sometimes you can do like this. Okay, I stay fourth position. A B D E A So you have to practice like you, you almost confuse, then you don't confuse because that's how you improvise well. Oh, last one. Root 37. Freshly, freshly, yeah, fresh, fresh, like a vegetable, you know, or a salad or a fruit. I, I made this one yesterday because uh, uh, original one, it's look a little not great. So capture. One, two, three, capture. Okay, so you learn uh, B flat blues. So this is B flat root flat seven major third. So that's why if you go this one major seven, this minus third. So you only need three of them. And of course, Guitar Wisdom subscribers study root third seven. Just a thirty root third seven. Study three four uh, standards. Then you all set. You get really good skill from that. Okay, B flat seven. All right, great, great. Now, E flat seven, root, major third, flat seven, major seven, 
minus seven. You learn that, right? Okay, so B flat blues you practice. Strike strike down, strum down, up, and mute with left hand. So so now second, third, fourth finger is correct. The reason is this way you can use your first finger for muting. Good for funk. That's what I teach. So let's do the B flat. Now, practice E flat. This one, I use a little bit my thumb to mute. So if you come to Berkeley, Berkeley, blah, I teach this to everybody, whether you like or not. I hope this video is not too long. Maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Like that. Always singing something. E B flat blues. Again, so many root third seven uh, swing. Uh, you know, I messed up a little bit. So you see, like you know, what you what you wanna do, subscriber here at the guitar. I'm sorry, uh, Tomo which is the music. You use search here, then you look up root 37 blues or standards, it comes up. And Guitar Wisdom subscribers practice, you know, chromatic scale, uh, major scale form, triads, root 37. So this way, what's gonna happen is, you have a basic skills, like what I have, what Joe Mayer have, what Eric Krasner has, what Zach Gibbs has. Everybody has these skills. That's why they can learn their own. They listen to anything they can learn. No tab. We don't need a tabs. Why you need a tab? Because they do not do these. That's why. Practice like that slowly. Why, why like that? This basic idea. This guitar is really great for practicing. I use Epiphone, you know, Archtop too. I practice chromatic scale. Blue 37, I practice a lot with orange wood. Like that. I whistle because my wife cannot whistle, but I must say, I, I, I lost my chops of a whistle. Kind of.
you so much. Thank you so much. I hope you stay to uh, very end. So, you know, this is it. Seven things, okay? One, chromatic scale, really simple one. Chromatic two, one, two, one, two, the patterns. Crazy chromatic, number three, you know, two notes. And then you do top three notes, triads, really well. So you really understand the inversions, okay? Then you do three-way, vertical, horizontal, and same one. Now you know all the triads. Then cage the form and only four major scale that you need to know, okay? You do that really well. And of course, there's more to do than if you ask me, I can give you more, but this is good. And then last one, root 37, swing. You understand that. Again, you can go more and more. So seven things you do every single day. But again, you pick three, four items. That's fine too. Thank you so much for watching Tomushita Music. And if you like this channel, please subscribe and share with your friends. Right now, how many? 491,000 or something like that. Amazing. Thank you so much. And Guitar Wisdom too. Going up nicely. Nicely. Thank you so much for your support. All right. See you soon. Take care.